If you're looking for the best gas grills, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on the features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Char Griller at 3001 Grilling Pro 40,800 BTU Gas Grill. There is serious firepower inside, what looks like your run of the mill grill that sits on the curb at Home Depot. The three burner, multi vent, barrel style grill reaches temperatures in excess of 600 degrees without the use of an infrared burner, a necessary tool for most non premium grills to hit temps that high. At 600 degrees, you're able to put a proper sear on anything not just grill marks, which, for reasons that take too long to explain here, are not what you want. This power is aided by the addition of heat diffusers over the burners upside down, V-shaped steel shields that even out heat distribution and good airflow. As with any frugal-minded grill, you shouldn't expect it to stay in top shape for too long, but you won't find a cheap grill packing this much ornaments. Moving on to the next at number two with Weber Genesis Roman 2 E330. There are cheaper grills with most of the features and cheaper grills with comparable build quality and cheaper grills supported by healthy warranties and strong customer service. But there is no grill that matches the Weber's Genesis E330 complete package. Other than a mess of heavy gauge, enamel coated steel, plenty of storage, a side burner, fold away warming racks and north of 500 square inches of cooking space, it's also a part of a rare class of gas grills that can climb temperatures above 800 degrees thanks to a built-in infrared burner that effectively doubled the heat potential of the grill. There's enough cooking space and burners to successfully employ the two-zone grilling technique, which effectively makes any grill a smoker, or at least close to it. It's an all-around grill and a specialty grill in one. Our only qualm is the use of enameled cast iron grates. In testing, the grill reached 650 degrees over the standard burners and nearly 900 degrees over the infrared sear zone burner. This is plenty of heat. The grill doesn't need tedious, heavy cast iron grates. If you're up for it, we recommend replacing them with grill grates anodized aluminum set, which bring greater heat balance, increase grate level temperatures, and further reduce flare-ups. The number three position is held by Char Broil's signature series True Infrared. Char Broil's mid-sized, mid-market grill is an all-arounder. You get the shiny, Stainless look of the high-end grills in the $1,000 plus market for half the price, plus plenty of storage, and a sauce burner on the side. Plus, it comes with all-important infrared tech, which raises its temperature ceiling substantially. The budget infrared grill uses perforated steel sheets over the supercharged burners to increase the max temperature to around 725 degrees. The biggest downsides are assembly, which is a bit of a buskill at worst, and, again, cast iron grates that are necessary at all. The grill hits the 600 degree mark before turning on the infrared burner. That's plenty of heat to achieve a brown crust before overcooking a piece of meat. The wheels also felt cheap, though they could likely be replaced without much issue. Next at number four, we have Huntington 30,040 HNT Liquid Propane Gas Grill. If you just wanna cook and don't give a damn about looks, this is the gas grill you want. Its exterior is cheap looking, but its guts are equivalent to high dollar competition. The interior is rust-proof cast aluminum, and it's fitted with H-shaped burners instead of the usual straight-line design, a change that delivers more heat to more areas of the grill and improves its capacity for low-heat cooks. As with most grills, ignore the built-in temperature reader completely, it's always wrong. The number five position is held by Fuego Element Hinge 2 Burner. This grill's design takes up as little space on your patio or porch as possible. And considering it can pull temperatures north of 500 degrees in 5 minutes or less, with max temps upward of 625, you've got a solid space cost firepower ratio brewing. It comes with enameled cast iron grate standard and a cleverly offset lid handle, so opening and closing don't threaten your arm hair. The Fuego can effectively grill about 15 burgers at a time, and, if it matters to you, was designed by a former chief computer designer at Apple, Robert Brunner. The number six position is dominated by Weber Q1200 Portable Propane Gas Grill. A rule of thumb, if you want a portable or small grill, odds are you want a Weber. It couldn't be more different than the iconic Smokey Joe. 
but its strength and value are just as clear. At first glance, it looks chintzy it is not. A cast aluminum body and lid provide balance heat inside the grill and complete rust resistance. There's space for about 10 burgers, and it gets hot enough low 500 degrees range to char them without overcooking. It's ready to grill out of the box, and it's about as good as truly portable grills get. Our only qualm lies with the fold-out prep counters on the sides. While useful in theory, they're not quite big enough to use for most cooking tasks, and the truth is we prefer Weber eke out a few more inches of grill space in their place. Moving on to the next and number 7 with Cuisinart 3-in-1 Stainless 5 Burner Propane Gas Grill. Lots of budget gassers don't look great on the porch. Cuisinart's newish 5 burner is easier on the eyes and, importantly, outcooks most of its low-price competition. The most important part, it gets very hot, even compared to gas grills two and three times its price. At full tilt, you'll reach temperatures a shade over 700 degrees, which is a good benchmark temperature for searing proteins at any lower, and your meat will likely overcook while you wait for a nice char. Plus, because it has five burners, Intrepid Cooks won't have much issues rigging it up as an impromptu smoker by creating a two-zone cooking system. And while the built-in smoke tube isn't very useful, the window pane that allows you to look inside the grill without letting heat escape is a nice touch. The number 8 position is held by Nomadic Portable Propane Gas Grill. The Nomadic Mini is a lighter, more spacious portable gas grill than the Weber Q series. Its temperature range is similar, up to 500 degrees or thereabouts, at almost one-third what the Weber does, and it boasts more cooking space, 226 square inches vs. 189 square inches. It's the perfect day at the park or car camping grill, though still not light enough to warrant carrying on a hike. We have one main quibble with it. While forgivable given the price and portability, the flip-out base isn't quite as sturdy as you'd like it to be and will wobble if you don't balance where you're putting meat on it. Next at number 9, we have Napoleon Prestige Pro 500 Gas Grill. Napoleon is a major player at the top of the mid-market grilling space and through the ultra-premium categories. This particular grill is in the middle of the pack in Napoleon terms, but it's the quintessential shiny stainless gas grill. Above all else, you are paying for build quality and cooking payload. Most of the grill is made of sturdy 304 stainless steel, and the firebox is ultra-durable cast aluminum. There are four primary burners, each with a heat diffuser, as well as a rotisserie burner and an infrared side burner. And though Napoleon's trademark wavy grates can be frustrating to clean at times, the brand gets the materials right, 9.5M stainless steel. The infrared burner is a step above those from Weber and other more budget-focused brands. Recorded with an IR gun, the burner was pushing 1100 degrees. That is charcoal level heat, available in seconds. Throw in some quality of life features like LED indicators for control dials, interior lights for night grilling, and plenty of storage, and you've got a category leading product. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Weber Genesis Roman 2 E315 3 Burner Natural Gas Grill. When it comes to an all around capable grill, would be grill masters should check out the Genesis Roman 2 E315 3 Burner Natural Gas Grill from Weber. This freestanding grill features a porcelain enameled stainless steel lid and grill grates, offering durability and easy cleaning. It has three burners and produces 39,000 BTU, providing plenty of output for grilling up to 20 burgers at once. The E315 has some desirable built-in features as well. It has Bluetooth capability. Tying in with the iGrill 3 thermometer to send meat temperatures directly to a mobile device. It also has an electronic ignition for easy starts. While it does weigh 148 pounds, the large wheels make scooting it around the patio a bit easier. That's all for today. We upload outdoor product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.